Christmas shopping for me on Saturday. In the souvenir shop, they've got more on offer than just the ordinary scarf and hat. What type of bananas have you got? Oh, we've got small ones and the large ones. And we've even got the shirts. Is that to keep them warm? That's to keep them warm. And the hats also to keep them warm. And they go on the bananas? On the bananas, yes. How yes. many have you sold of these? Oh, yeah. hundreds and hundreds. And where's it all going to end? When we get to the cup final. <laughs> Just what I always wanted, really. Well, as they say, if you can't eat them, join them. He needs a hat far more than I do. The city fans have gone bananas this season, literally. Look, everyone's at it, but the nearest you'll get to hooliganism is a bunch of fifes. Now the last thing city need is a yellow skin slipped under their promotion chances, so how did it all start? Imri, 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 Imri banana. Yeah. Somebody bought a banana one week, and everyone used to sing like Imri, Imri banana, and it changed like to Imri, Imri banana. And then next week someone brought, you know, three or four bananas. And then it snowballed, didn't it? Yep. It's not just bananas. There's Nelly the City fan here. Victor the True Blue, the purists are still mellow yellow. It's become fashionable to have bananas. It, you can't be seen without a banana. The in people have bananas. Yes. It's a yuppie banana. The banana craze is certainly classless. Better to travel in an XJ6 watt than a crate. Manchester City, well, they're as happy as Santa. I think to put the fun side back into the game, which is what this is doing, and taking away the thing about hooligans and Stanley knives and people being mugged, it's absolutely tremendous, and the club is wholeheartedly behind it. Not much banana waving with Bradford on top in the first half. City scored against the run of play. Trevor Morley's chip and Ian Brightwell avoids the offside trap, with not the keeper, to score the opening goal. The bananas go mad. There's even a fried egg, ignoring a groomer's advice. Second half now, and Brightwell gets his and City's second. David White shows the pace on the right, the cross, and it's a simple tap-in, avoiding the keeper this time. It prompts City to run riot. Brightwell involved in the third. It's his header to David White. White banana skins, Lee Sinnott. And Paul Molden's there to meet it perfectly. It's his sixth league goal. Brightwell, who else set up the fourth? Molden's shot is blocked here. Morley has a go. Glegon can't make it. And Molden says, that's my seventh. There's colourful celebrations as City go top of the league. After the game, the scorers talked about their unusual support. It's, it's good fun, like, when we played down at West Brom. There's thousands, like, most I've ever seen. And uh, it's good fun. Yeah, you get uh, dinosaurs and paddling pools. There's even a boiled egg in there today. Don't tennis racket. Right. Tennis racket, right. yeah. So, two goals for each of the lads. We couldn't split them. So, they just have to share the Man of the Match award.